everyone, my name is Sam and thanks for checking out my video. So this video, I wanted to talk about all of the fantastic books that are coming out in 2018, especially the ones that I am most excited for. And most of these are actually already pre-ordered. There's a few that aren't pre-ordered yet because they're not actually available for pre-order. So let's jump into it. I've organized these chronologically with how they stand for their publication dates at the moment. These could change a little bit, but this is where they're starting off. The first book, there is actually no publication date at this moment, is a book called Toil and Trouble, which is supposed to be an anthology of stories of women and witches. All I know is that Jessica Spotswood is the ed one of the editors for it, and I really, really enjoyed her anthology, a Tyranny of Petticoats, so I am definitely going to try and get my hands on this book, whenever it does come out. Coming out officially on January 2nd is Everless by Sarah Holland. This book is actually in a couple book boxes in December, so I think publishers are giving a couple companies the opportunity to get it out a little bit early, and I am going to be getting one of those boxes. So I may actually have this book before the end of the year. All I know about this book is there is a sick father, and someone needs to, I think his daughter, find a way to get time back to save him or cure him or something along that lines. On January 23rd, Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh is coming out. I've actually gotten a chance to read the arc of this book, and I would absolutely recommend it. I'm definitely going to be picking up a finished copy of my own. The cover is gorgeous, and it is a very good book in terms of representation. There is a male-female relationship, a female-female relationship, and a male-male relationship. All that you really need to know going into this book is there is necromancy, a monarchy, and zombies. February. Man, February is going to be an expensive month for me. It's just like the month of book releases, and these, there are books that I have also pre-ordered that aren't on this list in the month of February, so I don't know. Coming out on February 13th is Shatter by April Lynn Pike, and The Defiant by Leslie Livingston. Shatter is the sequel to Glitter by April Lynn Pike. Glitter takes place when a tech company has taken over the Palace of Versailles, and there is a kind of drug trade going on, and it ends in a big cliffhanger, and I need it. The Defiant is a sequel to The Valiant by Leslie Livingston, a Canadian author, so I definitely want to represent her, but this book was also fantastic. If you haven't read it, I would very highly recommend picking it up. Female Gladiators, and that's really all you need to know. There's some family drama, but the big thing is Female Gladiators. February 27th is a fantastic day for releases, and it's also going to be the day that I have no money left by the end of the month, because books are expensive when they come out all at once. We have Heart of Iron by Ashley Paston, Tangled Lands by Pablo B. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, and Tobias Buchel. There is also Tess of the Road by Rachel Hartman, and Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Levenseller. I am really excited for Heart of Iron because it is inspired by Anastasia and great for fans of Six of Crows, Cinder, and Firefly, the TV show, which is like basically my brain. Tangled Lands is an adult book with fantasy and magic, and I think there's a tyrant running a crumbling city, which is suffering the after effects of overuse of magic or something along those lines. I'm really curious because it is an adult book, and I'm hoping it'll go to a little bit of a place where YA books don't tend to go when it comes to dictatory tyrant kind of governments. Tess of the Road is written by Rachel Hartman, who also wrote the Seraphina duology. I haven't actually had a chance to read this duology, but I'm going to make sure I read it before the book comes out. And if I like it, then I'm definitely going to go pick up the book because she's a Canadian author and I want to support my, my homies. I've discussed multiple times my love of Daughter of the Pirate King, so I am definitely going to be picking up the finished copy of Daughter of the Siren Queen. I've read the arc. It's not as good as the original book, but I am still really, really excited about it coming out. And I definitely want to reread it. Alasa is like my favorite female character that ever comes to mind when I think of like anyone outside of Outlander. So if you haven't read this book, get on it. It's sassy and snarky and short and really, really good. On March 6th, we have Wicked Deep coming out by, I think it's Shea Earnshaw. It is pitched as Hocus Pocus and practice Practical Magic with the Salem Witch Trials. That right there, I'm just like really here for that, but then the cover's really pretty too. Children of Blood and Bone has got to be the most anticipated release of 2018. Not just for me, but just like in general. It is the first book for a debut author. The rights have for it to be, I think, a TV show have already, no, a film, have already been optioned off, and the series got a six or seven figure deal. 
I don't even understand how that's humanly possible. I just know that it's got characters that are supposed to be diverse, and the cover is really pretty, and I think it's supposed to be, like, African uh, folklore inspired, so I'm just really excited to read that. March 13th is Obsidio, finally, finally coming out from Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. If you've read Illuminae and Gemina, then I am sure that you share my anger when they pushed back the release date of Obsidio. <sighs> Those books gave me such bad book hangover and like, oh, I've never been, I'm not like a big sci-fi person and it's like a sci-fi opera and like, I just got so emotionally invested in it. Oh, I just need the sequel to be in my hands, like, now. And the cover is, like, gorgeous. I thought they were going to go with, like, purple or green, but they went with, like, black and gold. It's pretty, but just not what I was expecting. And on March 27th, we have The Queens of Innisfil by Tessa Grayton, I think it is. I honestly don't know much about this. I just heard the title and got this sinking suspicion that it had something to do with King Lear. And then I read some of, like, the comments on Goodreads. And I was like, yeah, I'm right. I literally know nothing of this. I know that there's, like, queens. But I know that there's William Shakespeare involved. So, I mean, I have to buy it. I don't have a choice. It's not up to me. This is why I have a book buying problem. Thank the good lord I am getting April off for the most part. Because... I can only give so much money to publishers without becoming homeless. So there's only one book that I am super anticipating for April. On April 3rd, Dread Nation by Justina Ireland, I believe it is, comes out. The cover intrigued me immensely. I have a friend who's reading the ebook arc of it, and I'm waiting to hear back what she thinks on it, but I'm hearing pretty positive things from other people. All I know is it's like historical fiction and like zombies or afterlifey, something to do with maybe the Civil War. I don't know, but I am just all over this book. May 1st has two big releases for me, and I'm so, so hyped up for them. First, I have Allied by Amy Tintera. It is the concluding book in the Rune trilogy. I need to know what happens. I need to know how everything goes down. I, Someone's sister, who shall remain nameless, needs to get taken out, and I need to see it happen, and I want to know how it's going to happen. There is also, I'm hoping it won't change, but I know Sarah J. Mass has had a rough year. So the Akatar novella, the first one is supposed to be coming out, I'm excited about that. I know, like I said, she had lots of family health problems in the past year, and she's also releasing Catwoman this year, so I don't know if it will actually happen. We don't have a title or a summary or a cover, but if it does, I am picking it up for sure. On May 22nd, Fury Born by Claire Legrand is coming out. This book is interesting. It's supposed to be, like, a claim to be original, which I'm really interested to see, because I feel like there's a lot of content that is just kind of recycled in YA. So all I know is there's supposed to be like multiple time periods. One is having like a person who's going through like tests of their magic and another is like fighting a dictatory government or something like that in the same place and like just thousands of years apart or something. I don't know. It just sounds really, really interesting. On June 5th, we are getting City of Bastards, which is the second book by Adam Schwartz's series Royal Bastards. If you haven't read this series already, I would really recommend giving it a go. It's got, as the name suggests, there are people in here who are bastards. Their parents had them out of wedlock or with other people. And there's a ragtag group of, like, opposites that end up going on this, like, journey and, like, getting over biases and everything like that. And I don't know where it's going to go. I'm just really, really excited. June 26th, I want to have a party or something. Because the sequel to My Lady Jane, called The Plain Jane, which is, supposed to be about, which is supposed to be about Jane Eyre, I believe, is coming out. I'm so excited. I finished this book, and at the time it was labeled as a standalone, and I was really disappointed. But then they changed their mind, and all of these wonderful ladies are coming back and giving us more historical comedy. And I am just here for it. The sassiness, the snarkiness. This, as I've described before, is like Monty Python in YA book form. It's just so trolly. And like the narration, I had to walk away like laughing hysterically a few times and like compose myself and then come back to finish the book. So I would definitely recommend reading it. If you haven't, I mean, I don't know what you're doing with your light. But August, there's only one day, August 7th, but there are three titles coming out that I'm really, really interested in. So the first one is These Rebel Waves by Sarah Rash. All I know about These Rebel Waves is they're supposed to be pirates. And 
I'm all here for this pirate thing that's starting ha- suddenly in YA. I can't get enough of it. I like pirates. I like mermaids. We are also getting the Dances of Thieves book by Mary Pearson. It is set in the same world as the Remnant Chronicles, which the first book is The Kiss of Deception. Probably the most anticipated release I have also comes out on August 7th, called Heretics Anonymous by Katie Henry, I believe her name is. This book, I mean, it's a contemporary, so I'm kind of surprised that I'm interested in it. This book is basically what my life as a, in high school was. I went to a Catholic high school, but not because I was Catholic, but because it was French immersion or French extended, and that was the only place I could go to continue that. So I was kind of the oddball out. My family doesn't belong to any denomination. I myself am not religious whatsoever. So this book, I mean, I don't know that I've ever read a book where there is a character who's an atheist in a positive light. And I love the ragtag team feel I get from the summary that there's like, a gay Jewish boy, the atheist male, and a, a big fe- a feminist uh, women's rights advocate who is Catholic. All this group of people who find similarities even though they seem kind of polar opposites. So I am immensely excited for this book. And the last three of the most anticipated 2018 releases I have at the moment is coming out on September 4th is All the Wandering Lights by Heather Fawcett, which is the sequel to Even the Darkest Stars. I actually read this book this month in November and absolutely loved it. There is just so much that has to be tackled in the sequel, so I'm kind of scared but also really excited. So I am definitely going to be picking that book up on the day that it comes out. And the last day, September 25th, has two releases for me. The Iron Flower by Laurie Forrest and For the Muse of Fire by Heidi Heelig. The Iron Flower is the sequel to The Black Witch, which is, yeah, it's the second book overall in The Black Witch Chronicles. I've read The Black Witch multiple times this year. I also read the prequel novella called Wand Fasted. I'm so excited to see what the cover looks like because they've done a beautiful, absolutely stunning job with the covers of this series so far. And I've got some pretty high hopes. Heidi Heelig is the author of uh, The Girl from Everywhere, which is a duology. The second book is The Ship Beyond Time, with time-traveling pirates and a diverse cast. I don't even know what the summary for this book is. I just know that I loved her writing. And the title of it is like a play or a line from Shakespeare. So I am just super here for that. So those are my most anticipated releases of 2018. Make sure to like and subscribe to my video down below. Also check out the description box where I include all of my information for social media, as well as the links to Goodreads of any of the books that I mentioned. I am on Instagram, Litzy, Goodreads, obviously YouTube, and I have my own book blog. If you follow me, I will follow you back.